Okay, y'all, so this is gonna be a quick video, but I needed to do this for the people that's being slow on purpose. Yeah, I said it. The people that's being slow on purpose. All right. So, um, and then there are some people that don't that you know actually don't don't know. I'm not talking to y'all that don't know, but I have like had to delete and block about 50 people in the last hour or so because of my last video about the wheat. And like I say, I don't care, but let me just, let me put something on the people that want to listen and for the people that's being slow on purpose, because I know you're still watching this. Um, but you can't call me. <laughs> um, so, I'm speaking for, I can speak about this because it happened to me. People that is, people that have celiac disease, uh, people that have severe GERD like I do. People that are allergic to certain things like I am cannot take a lot of wheat, okay? Therefore, we result in things that are gluten-free, which is rye, wheat, barley. A person that has full celiac disease, they can't, they have to stay away from it. I have a friend, her and her children have celiac disease. And if her children get wheat, they will seizure they will start having seizures it's that bad so you know i got people saying that it's not a lot of people that have but it's more than celiac disease you know i had to um in the last two years had to go gluten free and dairy free now i can incorporate it a little bit i can tolerate it a little bit but i can't go overboard so Going through those months, almost a year, of being strictly gluten-free and dairy-free, I know what it would do to you if you have an issue to it. Now, you don't even have to have celiac disease. You can just have a wheat intolerance. You can, you know, there's a difference between a, a wheat allergy, a wheat intoler intolerance, and having celiac disease, which is the rye, the wheat, rye, the, not wheat, the rye, um, the wheat, rye, and barley and sometimes oaks sometimes oaks um if there's a wheat shortage and people go and start buying almond flour um all these other type of flowers and stuff like that rice flour different flowers now you're taking from the people that truly need it when i say truly need it that they need it or else they're sick that is what i'm talking about like I say, I have went through it. So, even if, if you feel like there's not a lot of people that that has these issues, you don't understand how severe the people, the issues are to people that do have them. All right? There are so many reasons why people cannot do wheat. And the people is talking about, oh, well, you could always go and get this, this, this. But now, what are those people that really cannot take take the the wheat and really need those other flowers? If everybody is buying that and then it's a shortage on that, what are they going to do? Stop thinking about only yourself. We all are in this together. It's not all about you. It's, you know, it's, not, it's, it's not a big deal and all this. I have deleted 15, but I know about 15 people. And I went on and blocked them. They can still watch, but the nonsense that was going in, no. No, those people in there is children that cannot tolerate that. So it's, it's not okay. It's not okay to just go, because now you're going to start another situation when those people can't get what they can get what they need to get and it just go down you have to know about why it's so important and i know somebody i cannot remember your name honey you put it in you she named out a lot of things hamburger buns hot dog bun pretty much breads macaroni and cheese all that stuff is needed from wheat so think about how much food that will not be available if there is no wheat and like I was saying in another video, it ain't going to taste right if they sit there, take it from somebody that know. I have tried so many recipes with gluten-free flours and stuff that it just was nasty to me. Because it did not taste the same. So you're going to have a lot of people that ain't going to be able to deal with that, you know? So instead of, you know 
brushing that off you need to be looking for other options that you can do where you don't take from the people that actually need it okay that is what i mean and i know people know that they just being slow on purpose it just is what it is and i'm gonna tell it like it is that's what it is but the people that don't know the people people that is saying when they say they gluten free that's that could be serious depending on the reasons they're gluten free and there's a lot of people that have to be gluten free i'm one of them i found out i have an issue just today i ate a, a sandwich on honey wheat bread and trust me i'm glad i didn't eat more than i did because i started to pay for it because of the wheat bread all right so i'm one of them that cannot sit on a daily basis and eat wheat products so i have to have gluten-free products so think about the people that have celiac disease that and that's a lot of people so you know people that just because you may not know nobody that have it think about this let me tell y'all a little fun fact boar's head and i learned this because i had to be gluten and dairy free boar's head caters to celiac disease boar's head products are expensive and i had to buy what all my sandwich meat and everything that's why i love Publix because Publix caters to a lot of a lot of celiac people that have celiac disease or have GERD issues that have to go off gluten they have a whole big selection of gluten-free stuff and that's why I shop at Publix a lot because I can get a lot of gluten-free stuff and seed stuff from there Boris Head um, caters to celiac disease um, all of their stuff there's no added preservatives and no gluten yeah so with me having GERD the way I do I found out that one of my biggest problems was wheat okay that's why I can't eat out a lot I have like let's see, if I were to eat out like a we out on the road and I have to eat which I have to eat every two hours or I see like my sugar drops I'm not diabetic or nothing it just does it will make me sick sick so I supposed to eat especially having GERD I supposed to eat every two hours having something small every two hours and because a acidic stomach is a bad stomach okay so I mean an empty stomach is an acidic stomach I said that wrong an empty stomach is an acidic stomach so um I only can eat from places like Chick-fil-a and it can't be fried it has to be they grilled I can get by with Taco Bell if I do the chicken um and uh, Arby's and it's like their club it have to be it can't be nothing fried nothing no beef nothing like that so I'm telling you it's important in so many different ways if there is a wheat shortage okay that's all I pretty much want to say I didn't want to be on here long but I had I wanted I want I didn't have to I wanted to explain that it's not all about you just because you don't have a wheat uh, issue with just because you don't have an issue with wheat and you feel like it's all right to just go you know you could do almond butter and uh, i mean almond uh flour and all this stuff think about if there is no options there is no other option for the people that actually need it but your body can take almost anything it can take wheat products and you just go and take from the people that literally really 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 need that stuff and now it's a shortage on there and now they have nothing to eat that's all i want to say y'all so i'm gonna get off of here um i hope i i hope what i just said made sense okay you have to look at with all these situations you have to look at the big picture you have to look at it from different standpoints you just can't look at it from your own standpoint and please stop only thinking about yourself it's not all about you we're all in it together it affects all of us and stop trying to think about only your well-being because that ain't gonna get you nowhere all right y'all be good be safe i'll see you in the next video if it's god's will bye